Yo, yo, so this is now we got invited to see Jeff Dunham's show here in Allentown Fair. We just literally got out. He's doing a special that's going to be on Amazon. This will be now my third comedy show this year. Actually, my fourth, now that I think about it, because I saw one in DR. Mm -hmm. But yeah, that's different. That's not like a main dude. It was like fourth or fifth. But anyway. I think but it yeah. Counts. Huh? Is it does it count? count? Yeah. Oh, shit. Well, I never did a review on that one. All right, fuck it. So yeah. All right, so it's my fourth comedy show. And yeah, it, this was Allentown Fairgrounds, and I haven't been there in almost uh, 10 years. The last time I was there was to see Mark Anthony. And my buddy gifted us some tickets and it was pretty good seating. And it was fucking packed. Packed. I mean, I knew this guy is popular. I remember him from Comedy Central. Uh, I personally never watched him. It wasn't my cup of tea, but beautiful night. Got to hang out with my beautiful daughter. And uh, two other moms that are amazing and beautiful that we all went together. So, yeah. So, what did you think? Because you are 16. And what's your opinion on what you just saw? Um, well, I've, like, never heard of this guy before. Um, I don't think I've seen any of those, any of those puppets before. I, I didn't recognize really anything. I thought it was good. I feel like most of it, like, just wasn't really for me. But, like, there were some funny jokes in there. Like, it was good. Yeah, there was a... A, a, a lady that we were just talking about even with uh, the two moms that were with us that there was like a lady behind us that laughed at everything and anything extended she sounded like the hyena from Lion Kings yeah. like the whole time which was kind of annoying excuse me but you're there at a comedy show and i was like well at least somebody's having fun yeah i'm gonna say his comedy uh is not in my demographics at all um i think i could tell um uh, just when I walked in and I was like, oh, like I could probably count in one hand anybody that remotely looks like me or that I would hang out with. And that kind of let me know off the bat. I was like, oh, okay. And you know, I kept hearing like, you know, not canceled yet when I kept reading that. So I'm like, okay, well, I'm all about, you know, you don't give me some jokes. I could take a joke, give it to me. And there were some, there were some, they were like, I want to say they're like dad jokes. Yeah. They gave me like dad jokes vibe, like nothing like I didn't, Nothing, I was like, ah, I'm like, no, and yeah. I, not one, not one. I, you know what? The funniest joke was the joke they played on him for me uh, towards the end of the the, the, the skit. <laughs> Somebody fucking gave him, so they hand out postcards and they, they, uh, what's the name? The puppet Pete? Peanut. Peanut, right? So Peanut, out of all the puppets, Peanut, I felt had the, the best energy. Mm -hmm. Even though it's a uh, ventriloquist, Peanuts for me was the the most entertaining out of all of them, and I wanted to like all of them, um, but Peanut was the most entertaining. And so Peanut got to answer these questions, and somebody got him with one of those Anita jokes. Phil McCracken. Phil McCracken. And then so it was Anita Mantelay. <laughs> so it was just funny because he got caught with that joke and uh, it was pretty funny um oh my god no i think my favorite thing was when that guy came out to give him the food oh like how are you honey? good how are you i'm doing great so what do you do here at the fair wing production <laughs> production <laughs> that's, that's it thanks for the details there wayne what exactly do you do with the production what do you do Stay, stay. So what do you have a, a job? You come here, and what do you do? Do you set up the lights? What do you do? I, I make your life perfect. You make my life perfect. I'm not going to get anywhere with you, Wayne. No at all. Okay, fine. So you have the food today. So what, what do we have to show everybody? All right, so first of all, we have pierogies. What? Pierogies. Pierogies? Pierogies. 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 Pierog
All right, and, and what exactly is a pierogi? It looks like a... So it's some dough, dough, mashed potatoes, yeah, cheese, oh man, sauteed in butter and onions. All right, some sweet potatoes, some diet food. Yeah. A dietary dish. And then what's the drink of the day? Yingling. All right, let's see that feeling. Let's see that feeling. So is that a, obviously a local brew, correct? Right? The Oak in America, 1829. Oh, wow. All right, that's great. That ought to be good by now. That's great. All right, so we'll open that up. Okay. And do you eat this food regularly, Wayne? Look at me. Wait, you know, what did you say? Look at me. Oh. <laughs> so apparently it makes your hair fall out. I feel like that was funny. That guy was funny. He needed another person there. Mm. I, I forgot his name. Right. Yeah, I forget it too, but I, you know. Well, well, that part I'm going to add to this video because it's on Facebook now. It's Facebook Live. He'll try. He tries out something that local, and this is the fairgrounds, and the, this happens every year, Labor Day weekend, Alice Out Fair, and he tried pierogies, and yeah, pierogies are dope. I love pierogies. I'm actually tattooing a pierogi on Friday or on Saturday. Oh, that's cool. So I'm tattooing a pierogi. So I, I was like, oh, shit, fuck yeah, pierogies are good. Like, especially if they make them well. Do you think he, like, actually didn't know what a pierogi was? Mm. I would think that he probably would have had a pierogi. No, nah, this motherfucker know what pierogi is. Really? Yeah. Are they not, like, a known thing? It's a, it's a Polish thing. It's a Pennsylvania Dutch mm. thing, too. Oh, so okay. Pennsylvania's got a lot of Polish, but more Germans than anything. Like, the history of Pennsylvania. Uh -huh. Or at least around here in Allentown. Um, I don't know. I think he just goes along with like, oh, what is this? I think that's part of the, the skit. Uh -huh. yeah, like, like Yingling is everywhere, you know, on, in the East Coast. I go to New York and I find Yingling. So, but, you know, it's a lot of thoughts while I was watching it. I was like, damn, this is definitely not my cup of tea. A lot of these jokes was just, I don't know. I don't know. They just like, Lackluster. Well, normally in these reviews for comedy, I usually describe the crowd. Uh -huh. So this is probably the crowd where I've ever seen the most. And I don't know, maybe it's not PC, but whatever. It's like I had never seen this many uh, handicap or wheelchairs, uh -huh. uh, fucking uh, like the guys with a bag of piss hanging. And I'm like, man, he bringing everybody out. It was a lot. I never seen so many uh, fucking walking sticks, people up there in age that needed to be taken to the chairs, and I'm watching it, and the fucking chairs suck balls, and it is what it is, this is America, and this is Pennsylvania, them chairs, I don't know how people were sitting next to each They're other, so small. fucking tiny as fuck, <laughs> and like, I'm, I'm 190. And I was pushing the max on the width of that chair. Yeah, I'm just saying, there was a lot of a lot of meat in that place. A lot of meat. And I was like, oh, did you get two chairs? Did you get three? Did you even sit? Because, like, it was wild. Um, you know, a lot of 1776 t-shirts. Um, people got excited. He did a lot of... You know what I didn't enjoy, though? That he was very current. He wasn't that funny, but he was current, right? So... I thought it was cool. I wish the jokes were funnier. Like he had a lot of Biden jokes because he said he makes fun of whoever's in in, in the presidency. Uh -huh. And I was like, ah, right, what's up? Let's go, go, bring it. And I, I'm ready to hear it. And it wasn't that funny. Like a couple of uh, Camelot jokes, and I was like, all right. It was just. You mean like no Trump jokes? But tr Trump's not president. That's what he said. He makes fun of whoever is in the presidency. Okay. And but. And the video highlights before the show started, you see his puppet, I don't know, the old man puppet. Walter. Walter, look at you. Walter had a Trump hair. So I guess they used to do it. But listen, fucking biting is funny uh, with the falling asleep shit and not knowing shit. I thought that was funny. Uh, the Kamala jokes were like, eh, you know. I wish they were funnier. I feel like it was very low level humor. I'm not trying to say nothing bad. Yeah, I thought I thought the same thing. Very. Oh, so, so you, why are you not saying it? Be honest. Well, because like I just didn't know. Like I wasn't 
thinking that until you said that. I was like, I was thinking that. The jokes are very low. Like I could picture him, right? He said he was an only only child, and they gifted him when he was eight years old a puppet, and I could see that. And I felt like his sense of humor was still there. And that's somebody's cup of tea. It's just not mine, right? Like I felt like, I feel like he has enough. There's enough. Obviously, this motherfucker is dope because he's in the Guinness Book uh, World Records for a tour. But that tour was a long, a long ass tour, 2007 to 2010, almost two million tickets sold. So he's got a huge fan base. I was shocked to see how fucking packed that motherfucker was. Mm -hmm. It was packed. Um, like I say, I never watched him on TV. I knew of him. I saw it. It just wasn't my sense of humor. I don't know if I'm just older. And, and I li listen, even the fucking Ahmed doll. Ahmed? Ahmed? I don't know what you're talking about. The, his uh, Muslim doll. Like, I can see oh, uh -huh. when that came out. I can see it's all around 9 11, Ahmed. And, and, and I remember that being a thing. And But it just wasn't funny. Like, there was nothing there. So I felt like, damn, you're holding on to this, this doll. And you're riding on early 2000s, and you're kind of like, you know. But I thought the dolls looked cool. The dolls look cool. He said that he like made all of them, which I was like, that's pretty cool. Yeah, I, no, I'm not gonna lie. I'm most likely gonna do a flash because now I don't have so many followers. Mm -hmm. I'm like, fuck this. Let me tap in. I know so many in PA. There's tons. So look out for some Jeff Dunham tattoo flash. I just didn't find the jokes funny, but I did think the dolls look cool. Um, yeah, I feel like the humor was just very low. I couldn't relate to so much, like the whole uh, ham reference for the woman's body part. I'm like, that's a new one for me. Um, but when I say he stays current, the hot tour girl uh, was brought up, and then he knew how to write a joke. So I love that. It gave me um, some reminiscence, or since I took that improv class, and it talked about. Being able to react to shit, mm -hmm. so like that girl that got up with the orange hat that he, that joke rolled throughout the whole show. Mm -hmm. Remember? Yeah. I thought that was smart and just shows like you know professionalism and in that aspect. And overall, how about the motherfucker was fucking thirty minutes late though? How about that? He was thirty minutes late. Yeah, because I was like, yo, thirty minutes late. I didn't know that. Yeah, the show was supposed to start at seven. The shit didn't start to seven thirty-one. Right. Oh so, my god. Yeah. Because he even made a joke towards it, remember? No, yeah, I, I, I remember that joke. I was like, oh, I didn't know he came late. Yeah, he was late. So we should have been done by 9. And it's like 9.51. So, yeah. So, yeah. Uh, maybe if this was like a beer and I did my normal beer reviews, I would... I mean, would I see it again? No. Would I pay for it again? No. Uh, but I am interested in those dolls as tattoos. I think they're kind of cool imagery. Mm -hmm. I feel like I could make them work, but uh, that peanut, peanut, right? Yeah. Peanut puppet felt like had the most potential, the most energy. Well, again. I feel like that's his main one. Is it? It has to be. He waits for the last to do it. The peanut one was on like all the merchandise and everything. Uh, peanut was made. Everybody was asking for peanut. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Well, it is what it is. Uh, I'm glad I saw it, right? Because I feel like anything. You got to be open-minded and check things out and, you know, not everything's for everyone and that's okay. So good for him, for all the people he employs and this machine that he's created. And like I said, I remember back when we lived in Brooklyn, the commercials of him on uh, Comedy Central. So yeah, it is what it is. 